Hello and welcome or welcome back. I'm Bo and today is uh, paycheck closeout day. Also, we're going to talk about reallocating savings because we did our taxes last week and uh, because we did our taxes, now we know how much we actually need to pay for taxes and also how much we're going to get back. Um, Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, I'll buy my lonesome today, y'all. Pray for me. Okay, um, so starting on the 29th, right, uh, I got my half pay. Let's bring this up close so you can see. Um, I got my half pay. See that right there? Yep, half pay, 627. Uh, as I've said before, I do split my paychecks in half so that they align with my partner's paychecks. Um, and then electric bill finally came out for $150, um, $80, oh my goodness, $20 got sent to debt, and then uh, $440 was spent on taxes. Now this is my taxes, his taxes, and postage to mail my taxes in to Minnesota because I had to file a tax return in Minnesota. Be it, it's a long story. Um, so that was that. Um, and then on the 30th, there was snacky snacks for $32. We went and got pizza. <laughs> Don't judge us. We went and got pizza. Um, and then we come over to the first tier. So kid bills came out. This is my partner's portion of, uh, the kids healthcare insurance. And then rent was $12.25. Um, we got reimbursed for utilities. I, I probably should have wrote utilities there, but y'all know what I mean, you know what I mean. Okay, so reimbursed for $240, um, and then YouTube came out for $26, YouTube Premium Family. And then on the second, um, his emergency fund, he sent $335 to it. Um, on the third, Snacky Snacks for $11. And then insurance got $179. Now, you might be wondering why this little post-it's here. This little, po uh, not post-it, um, this, good grief. This index card is covering a post-it. And I just wanna go through this uh, very carefully because this is the reallocation of my tax savings. So, I had previously had $17,035 in my tax fund. And that was because I sold my house last year and I wasn't sure whether or not I was gonna have to pay taxes on the profit that I made from selling the house. So that's why that was there. But after filing my taxes, I know, you know, I knew that I didn't owe this year. So, um, I reallocated the money to other things. So we got the $440 that I paid for the taxes, right, for taxes this year, um, for the 2023 taxes. So that leaves $16,595 to allocate to other things. So I set aside $440 for next year's taxes. Um, which leaves us $16,155. Then I sent $10,000 to my emergency fund, y'all. $10,000 to my emergency fund, which leaves $6,155, which I sent to my school fund. Because I do want to go back to school, and so does Win. honestly. Um, I want to go back to potentially get either an associate's or a master's degree and not master's associate's or bachelor's degree and he wants to go back to get either his master's degree or to get his um teacher's license and special ed certification or license or whatever it's called um designation whatever to because he wants to teach special ed um so I, I, I need to put more money in school. Um, so this actually puts us 
fully funded for both school and the emergency fund for this year. Now I am still going to add money to my emergency fund this year, but it's not going to be budgeted. It's just gonna be like stray money basically um, because I wanna focus on my other goals now that I'm at $10,000 for my emergency fund. So, whoop, that is what this means. This is what the $16,595, and I it's in black because this is within my savings account. This is not inflow, this is just reallocation. And it took me a while for this to like settle kind of in my head, for my head to wrap around what it meant to reallocate versus to use savings for spending. Um, and that's part of why I have my budget sheet set up like the way I do. So speaking of which, let's go to the budget sheet, right? So for the, um, let's move this out of the way, uh, for the closeout here. So this paycheck was uh, March 22nd to April 4th. Uh, the first paycheck of the month, because as I've said before, the first paycheck of the month is the paycheck that covers the first, as far as I'm concerned, because that is when the biggest bill comes out, which is rent. Um, so that just keeps that at least consistent. Um, so for the final numbers, right, his paycheck was $1,014. My paycheck was $1,177. So that is two halves of two paychecks. So the second half of one check, the first half of the other. Uh, bring it up a little closer so you can see. Um, other income was $661. Um, $1,940 came from savings. And then $858 was rolled over. Because remember, uh, we had set aside half of the rent and also the electric bill, what we had budgeted for. Um, so that is a total of $5,650 for inflow. And then go down to his spending. And uh, we got the rent for $1,225, kid bills for $103, electric bill for $150. Uh, and that is a subtotal of $1,478. And he's not rolling over anything this time um, because it was... Honestly, it was getting a little complicated. <laughs> Doing roll, rolling over every paycheck is it, getting a little complicated. So we're just we're just chilling on that for a little while. Uh, and then for his savings, uh, kids got one hundred sixty three dollars. Personal loan got one hundred ninety eight. His emergency fund got six hundred and twelve. We are firmly over a thousand so far in his emergency fund, which makes me feel phenomenal. Um, so the subtotal for savings is $973, leaves us with $3,199. And then we go up to my spending. So, uh, monthly bills, $26. That was the YouTube premium family, right? Uh, and then 384 to, uh, his debt, uh, $69 went to dining out, which of course is more than budgeted for, but we're not going to talk about that. I, I apparently can't control myself. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm scared to budget more for it. Um, groceries, $220 as expected. The rest of these are all as budgeted. So 60 to transportation, 75 to health, uh, 50 to household shopping, 20 to birthdays, 40 to clothing, 40 to shoes, 30 to pets, um, 20 to personal. So that's a total of $1,034 to my spending. Um, leaves us with $2,165. And in case you are new, um, all of this, this is essentially what's, uh, it's what I consider spent, but not all of this money is actually spent. So like birthdays, I have, I didn't have any birthday gifts that I gave out this month. Uh, clothing, I didn't, I didn't buy any clothes this month. I did get shoes um, for when, uh, because he has really, really wide feet. It's kind of ridiculous. He needs extra wide shoes 
and he has some foot problems so his shoes can get a little expensive which is why I budget so much for it and why I separated into two categories because clothing used to just be used to include shoes but I was spending so much on shoes that it, it just didn't make sense um so then uh yeah so that is all that is all what I consider spent which is it's in it's in the checking account ready to go out um, and then for my saving, this is where things get a little complicated, y'all. So we had the 179 that I budgeted for insurance. That is going to insurance. And then this is a negative number, right? So this is a negative number. This is negative 16,155 because this money is coming out of my tax savings and then going into my emergency fund in school. So that is why you get the, the, the net amount because remember I'm leaving $440 in the tax savings. So I'm only taking out 16,155, 10,000 of that is going to emergency fund, $6,155 of that is going to school. So there's a subtotal of $225 to savings. I hope that made sense. Um, I just, I want it to reflect that this money is not being spent. This money is staying within my savings account. So each of these little groups here is a different account. This is his checking account. This is his savings account. This is my checking account. This is my savings account. So this is, <laughs> these, these categories, these sections here are different accounts. So this money isn't leaving my savings account. This money is just coming from one bucket of my savings account to other buckets of my savings account. So I didn't want to use it in the inflow. Didn't want to put it in the inflow because it's not coming in. It's already in my savings account. I, I hope that makes sense. Okay, so in order to get the full picture here, we need to pull a Christmas card. It's Christmas card time. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Uh, we're going to pause because I, of course, am not ready. And we're back. So we are pulling a card for Christmas. Uh, this is a savings challenge from Lodo Family, uh, saving $500 over the course of a year. Uh, so uh, the most that I can pull the most that I can pull is 46 minus 13, so that is $33. So the most I can pull is $33 here. And let's see what our luck is looking like. Do, 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 do. I'm not shuffling because I will embarrass myself and we're not gonna do that. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this right here. Boop, Jack. Okay, so the Jack is $13. Oh, did I pull a jack last time? I guess I did. Because it says $13 right there. Yep. Okay. Uh, we are going to color with... We're going to go with blue this time. Okay. So the jack of diamonds. $13 more dollars is going to Christmas. So 13 plus 13 is 26, and then uh, I guess that's 20, $20 is left, so that's going to go to furniture. No need to do the math, honestly. Um, actually, no, I am going to do the math. I'm going to do the math just to be absolutely sure. But here we go. We got 179 minus 16155 plus 26 plus 10,000 plus 6155 plus 20 equals 225. So the math maths, y'all, the math maths. Oh, we're so excited. We're so excited. Okay, so that that is what that is. I, y'all, 
It took me such a long time to figure out how to do this. I'm really hoping, I'm hoping that you get something out of it, y'all, because this was surprisingly difficult for me to figure out how to make the numbers all add up <laughs> so that I could still pull a card and then like everything still makes sense. Um, but yeah, so that is 225 as a net savings. So what came from the inflow into savings is $225. And then we go down to savings spent. So that is health got $1,500 which is a lot. This came from the emergency fund. Um, so this was uh, both both of us needed glasses. He Wynn hasn't had glasses in years. I think probably like maybe a decade. I don't know. It's been a long time since he's had glasses and he he's really having trouble seeing. So um, we both, I, and my glasses are cracked like pretty badly. They've been stepped on. I got them in 2018. It, they look like they're from 2018. Like it, they look like they've been through some stuff. So uh, we both got glasses and he got a root canal because he was having a lot of tooth pain. Um, so that 1500 went to health from the emergency fund. Um, but it's okay. Cause we replaced the money and plus some it's plus a lot. So it's fine. And then that $440 for taxes. So that brings the subtotal of savings spent to 1940, which is the same as what came from savings. So I really like, I really like when that number adds up to the same thing. It, it makes me happy. It makes me realize that like things are things are working out right so because i had 1940 left and this is 1940 that means we are at zero so this is a zero base budget the math worked out y'all the math worked out um and remember zero base budget does not mean that you have zero dollars in your bank account it means that every dollar that came in has a job Every dollar that came in to your bank account is going somewhere, whether it's going to savings or going to bills or going going to daily expenses where you're allocating the money, um, every dollar is accounted for. Um, and again, I'm, I'm sure you recognize that I am not actually spending exactly $26 on monthly bills. Is this $25 and some change? I round up my transactions so that I can kind of trick myself into saving. Um, and a lot of bank accounts actually have a roundup feature where it will round up all your transactions. So uh, feel free to use that if you want to round up, then you can eventually have some savings built up and you know um, that you've got like some some wiggle room in case the numbers ever don't add up <laughs> and you have an issue um i do have that turned on on my savings account it goes into a a bucket that i literally name buffer and that is where all my roundups go um so it it does add up eventually i i've built it up to over a thousand dollars before um it it's pretty nice uh, and I highly recommend it. Um, so that is it. That is all we covered how to reallocate savings without throwing off your budget, making sure all the numbers add up, uh, being careful with positives and negatives so that it actually works out mathematically. Um, I hope you learned something. I know I did in this process. I appreciate you so much. Appreciate you so much. I love you. Never forget that you deserve financial stability. And I hope you have a great day on purpose. Bye.